Free Thaddeus by John Gosselink, a First Chapter Friday read-aloud video and book cover exploration activity with The Word Nerd. Hey everybody, my name is Amanda Zeba. Welcome to my channel, Learning with the Word Nerd, and another First Chapter Friday video. This week I'm going to be reading to you from Free Thaddeus by John Gosselink, otherwise known as In Defense of Thaddeus A. Ledbetter by John Gosselink. Two different book covers? Two different titles? What? All right, let's talk about it a little bit. So when I was looking for books to recommend to my students who loved Diver Wimpy Kid, once I got done with all the Diver Wimpy Kid books, they wanted something else, I wanted to have something to recommend to them, something that was funny and something that was kind of written in the same style. I discovered Free Thaddeus, and it's amazing. A, because it's a super funny book, but also it has the same style on the inside as a uh, Diver Wimpy Kid, you know, kind of like that mishmash of drawings and text and handwriting and notebook pages. And so I knew that this was going to be a book that my students would love, that they could jump from Diver Wimpy Kid to this. All right. So I read it. I loved it. And then later on, like a few school years later, I wanted to recommend it to more students. I think I actually wanted to buy more copies from my classroom library, but I couldn't find it. Instead, I found this book, The Defense of Thaddeus A. Ledbetter opened it up. You guys, it's the same book. It just got a new cover, which isn't all that rare, but it also got a brand new title, which I found super interesting. So before I tell you any more about this book, I want us to have a little discussion. I'm going to put up an image with both of these titles and covers on the screen, and I want you guys to talk as a class. Which book would you be more likely to pick up and read? Which one is more appealing to you? I know they say don't judge a book by a cover, but we all do, right? So which book would you pick? If you want a worksheet to help you facilitate this discussion, teachers, you'll find one down in the description box. All right, talk it out. Okay, so I'm curious, which ones did you pick? Raise your hand if you picked Free Thaddeus in this book cover. And how many went for the defense of Thaddeus A. Ledbetter? I'm going to leave the comments turned on for this video, so I'd love for you to drop your choice in the comments below just because I'm curious, and I'd love to know which one you think is best. All right, I'm going to read the back of the book, and then we'll dive into chapter one. More than ever, the world needs my help. My name is Thaddeus A. Ledbetter. Not only am I the smartest person in school, staff included, sorry, Mr. Cooper, but I am also a member of 13 clubs and organizations, as well as the founder and president of 11 more. I'm also the undefeated slug bug champion and believe that all students should eat nachos for lunch every day. I care so much for my fellow man and woman, but not in a creepy way, that I am constantly improving the safety and efficiency of the world around me. And how am I rewarded? with the undeserved and unfair punishment of in-school suspension. What you hold in your hand is my defense and the explanation of this injustice. Please read it carefully, for the truth will set me free. And while I read this to you, I'm actually going to go off screen and show you images of the book pages because it is such a visually appealing story and will make so much more sense to you. But I hope you love it. Here we go. Free Thaddeus by John Gosselink. In school suspension. Student name, Thaddeus Ledbetter. Grade 7, gender male, location of offense, CCMS. Reasons for the referral, the true emergency drill. Previous corrective actions taken by the teacher. Student conference, timeout, loss of privilege, seating change, phone conference with parent, face-to-face -face conference with parent, referred to counselor, letter sent home. Actions taken by the administrator, in school suspension. Administrator sig signature, principal Frank Cooper, student signature Thaddeus A. Ledbetter, soon to be Esquire. Crooked Creek Middle School morning announcement request. Please include the following announcement. February 2nd. Mr. Cooper, please announce that today's scheduled meeting of the American Society of Fun Facts has been canceled because the club's president is stuck in in school suspension. Thanks a lot. Maybe you should also warn the student body that they can actually get in school suspension for the rest of the year, even if they do nothing wrong. Since we're on the subject, I've been meaning to mention to you, on a stylistic note, that maybe you should do the announcements in rhymed couplets. Something like, if you are feeling tough and a bit macho, you'll enjoy today's lunch of a delicious nacho. 
This might help kids pay attention more. When you drone on and on over the intercom every morning, blah, 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 progress reports, blah, 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 don't you gum. Everyone just kind of zones out after a while, so when you get to the important announcements, no one hears them. Your poor presentation also hurts attendance <laughs> at my club meetings. Since serious, that is a Ledbetter, soon to be Esquire, Cooker Creek Middle School. Confidential, Crooked Creek Middle School student information file. Student, Thaddeus Ledbetter, ID number 2234, birth date, August 16th. January 11th, Thaddeus performed his own safety drill at our school today involving a pest control team, classic cars, and many natural disaster drills. When I asked how he thought this could be a good idea, he claimed it was a true emergency drill. Due to these drills, the school was overrun by local news trucks and coverage reached a national level. Between the Dunham lawsuit and the Citrus League threatening litigation, the church fire and complaints from the Art Coalition, this is the last straw. January 12th. We had a discipline hearing this morning concerning all of Thaddeus's recent and numerous discipline matters. Several people voiced their complaints. Many feel Thaddeus has become dangerous to himself, the other students, and the community at large. As a result, I've decided to remove him from the general population and have assigned him to in-school suspension for the rest of the year. I truly believe this is the best thing for everyone involved. All these drastic measures are unprecedented. I feel Thaddeus's offenses warrant unprecedented actions. In retrospect, when Mr. Nelson, Thaddeus's elementary school principal, sent me a note wishing me good luck, I probably should have seen this coming. Confidential Crooked Creek Middle School student file information. January 15th, Thaddeus began his in-school suspension in in school suspension in the portable building behind the bus barn, yet he still had time to drop another one of his school improvement plans. I'll add it to the others. Dog holding pen, currently space used for encyclopedias. We, have, we haven't used hardcover encyclopedias in this millennium. Students having easy access to their dogs increases their ability to learn dog snack storage area. Side note, this is an excellent time to seriously consider smaller class sizes. Not only is it better for learning, but we could fit a lot more dogs too. Frank Cooper, Principal. Thaddeus, I'm placing you in in-school suspension for the rest of the year. Here is a map to your assigned room. It's not on the official map, so I drew it in. You are to go directly to your room and not have any contact with students or teachers. Mr. Cooper, you can see on the map that it's all the way behind the school, separate from the school, not even in the school. That is a Ledbetter defense to Mr. Cooper, principal of Crooked Creek Middle School from Thaddeus A. Ledbetter student. Subject, to have Mr. Cooper reconsider his decision to put me in in-school suspension for the rest of the year. Rest of the year? My Uncle Pete didn't think it was possible to be in, in, in school suspension for the entire year. He even started laughing when I told him last night. My mom used to say Uncle Pete was a bad influence. He's my dad's younger brother, even though, or maybe because, he's a lawyer. But, she, but he says she just needs to lighten up, or at least he used to tell her that. I know technically I was supplied this laptop to do all of my schoolwork electronically, but I think that using it to write my defense against this failure of justice is more important. I'm sure you'll agree after reading it. And in the interest of full disclosure, I will include all pertinent correspondence, notes, and other materials. If you, Mr. Cooper, were a true man of honor, you would also supply me with any exculpatory evidence that might help with my defense. See fun fact explanation below. A Thaddeus fun fact. Exculpatory means evidence that proves the accused, me, is innocent. There is also inculpatory evidence which proves guilt, but there is none of that kind of evidence in my case. Thaddeus A. Ledbetter Defense Mr. Cooper, please consider this a formal protest in response to the meeting on Tuesday. I mean, come on. Having all those people in one room together with their complaints, yelling and finger pointing, it was pretty much an ambush. I figured you wanted to talk to me about the true emergency drill when I was called to the office, but I was surprised to walk into a meeting of angry, agitated mob of adults. Look, I just naturally use alliteration, a device useful in poetry and the blues, and that's pretty impressive. 
Furthermore, your decision to isolate me for the rest of the school year is very extreme. Basically, you're removing the heart and soul, and especially the brain, of the entire student body. It makes no sense. Are you trying to impress other principals or something? Oh, other principals give kids two weeks attention? Big deal. I'm so tough that I put Crooked Creek's most important student in ISS for the entire year. There's better ways to impress people. Thaddeus Fun Facts. A close study of literature, comic books, and spy movies indicates that isolating highly intelligent people leads to the emergence of criminal masterminds and mad supervillains who can cause great damage to the world. Just something to think about. Alliteration is used in the same consonant sound at the beginning of several words close together, as in principles pick poor punishments for productive prodigies. Or disaster drills designate dire dilemmas for dummies. I've got more for you if you still don't understand. And I especially don't appreciate the outstanding members of the community giving you a standing ovation when you announced that I was going to be locked away for the rest of the year. Was that really necessary? If these people are so outstanding, don't they have something better to do than celebrate the injustice carried out against one kid? Please note the sad expression of utterly unfair accused student, me. Way too happy adults. They must hate kids. Hooray! Huzzah! Huzzah! Hooray! Subject, my case. Date, January 14th from Thaddeus Ledbetter, thaddeus.ledbetter at ccms.edu to peter.ledbetter at awassociates.com. Hey, Uncle Pete, just wondering if you have had time to look at my case. I think litigation may be needed. You say you like to fight for the little guy, and I'm real little, just 12 and a little over five feet tall. Oh, and when my mom got mad because you were laughing at me getting in school suspension for the rest of the year, I think she was just transferring her anger about my situation onto you. But I guess angry is better than sad, so in a weird way, it was kind of a nice change. So if I need so if I need to give a supposition or something, you'll know where to find me. Your favorite nephew, and also your only one, Thaddeus. Subject, read my case sent January 14th from Peter Ledbetter at awlassociates.com to thaddeus.ledbetter at ccms.edu. Thaddy, my boy, I haven't had the chance to look at your case, but from what your mom said, I think you may just want to accept your punishment and learn from this experience. If there are legal charges brought against you, please tell me your little episode wasn't the one I saw on the news where the entire emergency rescue department had to evacuate the school. I definitely will represent you. But let's just hope this suspensions thing is the worst of it. Yes, you are my favorite nephew, but why don't you just cool it for a little while? Your mom is having a tough time with everything and doesn't need this. Remember, you promised to use your tools of efficiency and preparation for the common good. Uncle Pete. Subject, re-re my case sent January 14th from Thaddeus.Ledbetter at ccms.edu to Peter.Ledbetter at awlassociates.com. How is preparing the school for the worst possible emergency not a good deed? How come none of you adults are getting this? Sheesh, my dad would have understood. All right, pretty amazing, right? And super funny. If you want to find out what happens to Thaddeus if he does get out of in-school suspension and what other escapades he's up to this school year, check out a copy from your school library, purchase one from a local indie bookstore, or grab it via the link down there in the description box. I hope you come back again for another First Chapter Friday, and I'll see you guys again next time. Happy reading! Make sure you check out the rest of the First Chapter Friday videos in this playlist, and also all the other videos I have available for you on my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and search for the rest of my content available online. See you again next time!